Hello everyone and welcome to another video on Python programming. In this video we will be covering the topic of closures. Now before we understand what a closure is, we have to understand what is a nested function and non-local variables. Now a function which is inside another function is known as a nested function. Nested functions are able to access variables of the enclosing scope. So if I define this function called outer function, where I pass some argument called text and I store that in a variable called text again, and if I create a function within this called inner function and I want to print whatever this variable is in text uh, when I execute this, it, it will be able to access this variable because it's within the enclosing scope. So if I set outer function hey, this gets stored in the variable text and then the inner function will print uh, that variable which is basically the string hey, as you can see here. Now, inner function can easily be accessed inside the outer function body, but not outside of its body. So here, uh, inner function is treated as a nested function, which uses text, this, this variable text, as the non-local variable. Now, a closure is a function object that remembers values in enclosing scopes, even if they are not present in memory. Um, it is a record that stores a function together with an environment. It's a mapping, basically, that associates each free variable of the function, which are basically variables that are used locally, uh, but are defined in an enclosing scope, with the value or reference to which the name was bound when the closure was created. A closure, which is, uh, which unlike a plain function, allows the function to access those captured variables through the closures, copies of their values or references, even when the function is invoked outside the scope. So let's look at an example to emphasize on what uh, what was just said. So again, I've created, I've defined this function outer function where I'm doing the same thing. Now I've defined the same inner function where I'm going to print the same thing. Now it's very important that when I return over here, what I'm going to return is inner function, but it's not going to be a function call. This is important to create our, our closure. So we return inner function, but with, without um, using the call as we do over here. And what this return will do is basically to create the enclosure, sorry, the closure, um, where the inner function will, re will remember the values of the variables stored in the enclosing scope. So now I'm going to store this uh, outer function in an object called my, in a variable called my function. Now when I call this my function, um, you can see there there will be two things that are happening here. So once I've defined this and I've executed this, what happens out here is this function has already executed and then I'm storing it into this. But because I've done return inner function without parenthesis, I've created a closure basically. And this closure allows the inner function to remember the values that were stored in text at any point at, and at every point even after the execution of this one time. So when I execute this again for the second time over here, it will remember the value that was stored in the variable text, which is hey, which was which was given over here. That's why you see when I execute it for the second time over here, the first time being in this line when I'm storing it in my function, when I execute in the second time, again it will give me the result of hey. As you can see, the closures have to invoke functions outside the scope. The function inner function has a scope only inside the outer function, but with the use of closures, we can extend its scope to invoke a function outside the uh, scope. So now let's look at this code. So this code, uh, don't worry about uh, what's going on here. Just know that what we are doing here is we have two functions which we define called add x and y, which will return x plus y, and the subtract function, which will subtract x and y. So now we're going to execute these once we're going to execute the add over here and add logger, and we're going to execute the uh, subtract function and we're going to store it in sub logger. So technically we have already executed these two functions but now uh, since I've created an ex uh, an enclosure basically uh, if you see here this is the enclosure that I've created now what happens is when I access this function from uh, outside its um, initial scope which is basically over here this was the initial scope when I access it outside you will see that it, it is it still has access to these variables x and y. So if you see here, I I, I first of all I've allowed this uh, this the enclosing function to accept uh, arguments of any numbers. So uh, I can pass x y I can pass x y z also. But if you see here, I on, I only have a thing for x and y. So when I want to access any value of x and y even after the execution of this code initially. Um, I have access to these variables x and y and that is because I've created a closure out of um, that. So if you see, if I do add logger 3 and 3 over here, I'm able to get the result 6. 
If I do add logger 4 and 5, I'm able to get the result 9. Similarly, for subtraction logger 10 and 5, I will get 5 here and 20 and 10, I'll get 10 here. And uh, I can keep doing this. I can keep saying add logger and if I, if I say 4 and 7, so if I executed this, and now I'm going to say, let's say for example, add logger, if I set 4 and 7 here. So this still has access to my variables x and y because I've created the closure and it should give me 11. Similarly, if I did sub logger, say 30 and 15, it should give me 15 because 30 minus 15. So let's say 30 minus 16, right? So it should give me 14 because again, I have created the closure and it has access to these variables already. So yeah, this was on uh, closures in Python. I hope you learned something new today. And as always, uh, like, share and subscribe so we can reach out to new learners. I hope to see you in the next video and thank you for watching.